my scree my screes what 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 a schedule is getting like cray cray I'm having to do back to back to back videos to kind of help myself give me time to get more books read and whatever so yes I'm wearing the same shirt and everything girl's gotta do what she's gotta do so I'm here with a book haul these are books that I've gotten within the month of February and I think one or two in January that I haven't hauled yet so there's not many but let's jump in so the newest one is winter song by SJ Jones and I knew this book was coming out and I went to the bookstore to pick it up and it was not there it wasn't even in any of the ones anywhere around me so I had to order this one off of Amazon which is okay I mean it came right to my door so no big deal but I have been really anticipating this book Song is a tale of a goblin king who has captured Liesel's sister so Liesel who is entranced in the magical element of music and how the music has come to her in her dreams and stuff are tied to the Goblin King and his underworld so she has to travel to the underworld to save her sister and while she's there I guess she falls in love with the Goblin King and so I guess it it's their tale of how she falls in love with him and how she has to save her sister and yeah it sounds really exciting it sounds like a fairy tale so this is one that I'm excited to have Scythe is another very interesting book this is a book about the future and how we have conquered everything including death these two teenagers are apprentices to become Scythes and they don't want the job if you fail there are brutal and fatal consequences so this book sounds very intriguing very dark and I'm excited to have this one this one I picked up today at the charity shop and it was by Patrick Ness so I went ahead and picked it up without even reading the back um, the crane wife and the interest the, the cover is very interesting as well all of this is made in paper Wow okay so I just read this one and it's about a man George who has gone through a divorce and he's just incredibly lonely and one night a crane crashes into his backyard it has been shot through the wing by an arrow he pulls the arrow out of this beautiful crane's wing and sets it free after he does this nothing is the same again the very next day he meets a very beautiful woman and it turns into a romance between the two but it all has to do with this crane it sounds very interesting I'm not big on romance novels but it's Patrick Ness so I really wanted to give it a try and see for myself if it's any good and I got them for Valentine's Day and it's book three and four in Outlander and I'm hoping not my next book but the book after it I'm gonna start the series and oh I'm a little intimidated because the font type on here is so tiny and there's like a thousand pages of book so this one has 870 pages but that's like Bible paper thin so it is a little intimidating but I've watched the series on TV and it is my number one favorite show of all time absolutely love the show so I know I'm gonna like the books so I'm not worried about being bored and not liking it it's just gonna take me a very long time I think I'm gonna have to really slow down buying new books and getting 
books from the charity shop and stuff because there's really no point in bringing in a bunch of new books if I'm still reading the one book that's probably going to take me all month long. Book three is Voyager. Book four is Drums of Autumn. And I opted for the paperback copies because they are very floppy and I like the paper feel of the the books itself. The, the paperbacks were more comfortable in my hands also. I like them better. I don't really like the hardbacks what they look like. I don't like the something about the hardback ones I, I didn't really like. Alchemist of Loom by Elise Kova. This one so far is really good. I'm only 160 pages in and there is a very complex world building and there's a lot to learn in this series. Not that it's bad because it's all very very entertaining and I enjoy learning about it because this is a, a, a magical world that is very different for, than most fantasy worlds that you will read and it's very understandable there's just a lot to it so yeah what is helpful though is in the back of the book she does put notes back here in the back that help you um, remember and it tells you what each of the symbols are and what they mean she even provided you with a pronunciation guide And then you've got the alchemists, all the different symbols there. Nova comes out in April of 2017, which I'm excited about because I don't have to wait a super long time to go ahead and pick up the next book because as soon as I get done with this one, I'm probably going to want to jump straight into the next one. I really like the magical elements in this book. I think she does a really good job of world building and there is a lot of world building because there's so much going on. It's not something that you won't pick up pretty quick and she does have things in the back of the book that help you along the way in case you do forget what something looks like or the way something is pronounced. Um, she does help you and so I really appreciated that as she provides you with a map and I do suggest you as you're reading it flip back through it and figure out what part of the world that you're in because it is kind of important um, it it just helps enhance the story so this is what I'm currently reading right now and as soon as I get finished I will do a full book review and let you know all my thoughts and feelings on this book but so far I'm really loving it. So guys, that's it for this video and let me know what you guys are reading. What are you really anticipating for March? I know there's some really good book releases coming out and until next time. Bye guys.